Yo, what's going on, people? Giant Nomad. Giant Nomad presents. Welcome to the latest podcast, man. Yo, what's going on, guys? Yo, I'm going to talk about something really, really serious. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about the, the realness. About getting shit. Real information out to you as much as I can. And... What you see right now behind me is exactly what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the coronavirus vaccine. People are already getting it. People in the UK have started getting it. They give it to this guy. The first guy who get who got it was name was William Shakespeare. I'm not shitting you. His name was William fucking Shakespeare. 81 years old from the UK. Um... If I was his age, I'll take it. What well, you got to lose, right? But um, would you guys take it? Are you guys thinking about it? Are you undercover saying no, but you are gonna get it anyway? I spoke to a um health health oh, a health care worker today, and she said. She would not take it. She said she doesn't even take the damn um, flu shot. Now I was like, "Yo, like it's uh, that's some real shit." You know, she's like, "You know what? It's, it's definitely bad." You know, the hospital is next to me. Is um, she said it's, it's packed. It's real. No. They, they're seeing, you know, some real shit from it every day. Um, but she says she won't take it. She won't. She won't trust it because it, it takes years for a vaccine to be properly tested. And now we're talking about just in ten months we got a vaccine. And you can say, yo. You can have, you can look at it this way, right? That man, whenever we put our full blown efforts into something as humans, no matter what it is, right? We send dudes to the moon in 1969 with with no computers or anything, right? We just dropped into that a big ass firecracker and was like, "Yo, good luck," but it was done. You know, it goes to show you whenever, you know, there needs to be something to be done and we collectively as humans go after it, we can make some shit happen, right? And this can be just that. This could be, yo, they said all hands on deck. Let's get this shit done. And you're probably saying, but Johnny, what about cancer? What about AIDS? I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about this right now. I'm not, this is not for, about, about debating. This is just, just about saying as humans, if and when we want to, we can get some shit done. It's It's been proven time and time again. Now, this that doesn't mean that what I'm talking about applies to this. Right, like this, like this is something that may not apply at all. That maybe we don't have a right right now, and the few that are going to take it, the few millions of people who are going to take it around the world, we're gonna to have to wait and see months, year. Years before side effects start coming through. Does that make sense, people? But if you have these underlying conditions and you're like, yo, and the vaccine is free, I'm not sure how they're going to really roll out the vaccine. Obviously, they can't force someone to take it. 
your job may mandate that you can't come out to work without it. And that's the hard part, right? Is that people, you know, well, you can't make me. Well, to have this job, you're going to have to be vaccinated. And that's our show proof. And unfortunately, if you can't get vaccinated, you can't work here. And you're probably saying, oh, Johnny, it doesn't work. Some states are right to work states. There's no unions. Like the state I live in is in Georgia. It's a right to work state. There are no unions out here. There's a, there's a very, very, few, very small amount of unions. It's not like the Northeast where it's just heavy in unions. So if you're in the Northeast, you listen to this, you're like, you know, that's, that's the response you have about the unions. But if you're in the South, there's no unions that's really protecting people out there like that. So what do you do? Are you thinking about taking it? Because I know that I'm not taking it. I said I already said it. I ain't taking it. Um, but what about the kids? You know, kids got to take immunization shots. That to be updated. Even if you go to college, you have to show your immunization shots when you're in college as well. So, will that be something that will be forced upon? families for their children these are questions we have to drum up that we have to think about we have to discuss because no one's really talking about it you know what i'm saying like, I've, I've i've been i've been rerouting myself to facebook i haven't been on facebook in many many years and i've spoken to someone and they told me yo jump on facebook again put your podcast out on facebook and i was like all right let me see how this does. I've been researching, been looking at, my, at people's profiles and their, um, what is it called? Their walls? You guys correct me. You can put it down in the comments. And no one's really talking about real shit. I see a lot of arguments. I see a lot of um, trying to call people out, but no one's really sharing real information about anything. So I was like, yo, let's let's just make the particular podcast about something that has some um substance. So that we all can kind of take a bite out of and chew on. And this vaccine is it. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are questions we have to come up with. These are questions we have to challenge each other with. You guys look at your state. It, it, and some people send it up, they're not. They're not into politics and I get it But you're going to have to grow the fuck up And you're going to have to realize that You need to really pay attention to your local politics That's the most important Fuck the national or the federal shit I don't give a fuck who's president To be honest with you I really don't You're like oh my god Johnny You're a Trumper And say that I believe more in my local fucking politics Because where I live at where do I live? I live in Atlanta. I live in the state of Georgia, the fine state of Georgia. And guess what? The shit that happens in New York does not affect me. The shit that happens in Georgia affects me. So I need to make sure that I, I am fully aware, fully comprehend, and fully understand and know who is the public servants out there. Who's who's my local politicians? That's what's more important because if they don't fill up a pothole in the, in New York, how does that affect me? I care about the potholes here locally. Now there's some federal laws that's blanketed across the country, right? Like some states have you know, weed that's legal. But as an umbrella for the federal government, it's still a first class substance. So the DEA is still trying to arrest people for weed. I don't want to get too too much into weeds with that. I <laughs> get it. It's... But to roll back, you see it right there. It's coronavirus vaccine. There was a poll taken. In New York, 
by the FDNY. Um, and they found that 55% of the FDNY that was polled said that they would not take it. A little more than half that said they won't take it. But then there was also the other 40 something percent that will take it. FDNY has about 8,200 firemen. So roughly about 2,000 firefighters were um, polled for this, um, this poll. Whether the poll is legit or not, just think about that, though. 55% of the people who were polled, so about 2,000 people polled. It's like 1,100 people out of 2,000 said, yo, we're not taking it. But what about the other 40-something percent that said, yo, we, we will take it? That goes to show you how split this fucking country is on everything right now. We can't agree on fucking nothing. We can't see eye to eye on shit. But we're going to have to fucking figure something out because this, like, we don't trust nothing anymore. And because the information, especially conspiracy theory information, is so at the at the realm, so so, so ready to be dis- distributed out there, that more and more people are just reading headlines and not even doing their homework. You know what I'm saying? They're not doing their homework and and really researching. They're just reading headlines and then hitting like and then reposting and sharing their their friends' bullshit rhetoric. You got to challenge people. You got to be thought-provoking. Johnny, I'm not a politician. Then don't run for mayor. But you better hell understand that when something doesn't go your way locally or you're forced to take something it's because you didn't fucking vote, you didn't put the right person in place that has the same thought process as you on certain issues. I don't want no government to be all of one anything. I want it to be split up. I want you no know, true debates to happen, local government and the federal government. I don't want all of one party to have control of anything. The virus is real. If you're one of those folks who denies it, you're not a mask wearer. You know, some states is mandatory. Georgia here is not mandatory, but people wear masks for the most part. Actually, a lot. A lot I see a lot of people wearing masks, but because the private establishments, enterprise, business saying you can't shop here without a mask, then you gotta you gotta put a mask on. And since it's a private business, if you want to do business with those folks, those are the requirements to do business with them to make a transaction, you must comply. So the federal government kind of and the local government kind of kind of just shoves that you know mandatory thing to the corporations to uh to the side. And then that's where I'm talking about the corporation pieces where when you next time you go to work, are they going to say, yo, you're going to need to get vaccinated to work here? Those are questions we need to ask. Those are questions you need to go back to work, talk to HR, and like, yo, the vaccine is out. People around the world are starting to get it. Um, what's the jibber jabber about us here? Would it be mandated for me to take a vaccination in order for me to work here? Then you're going to have to look at what the superintendent of your school, of your kid's school district is deciding to do about the vaccinations for kids as well. Listen, if you're a single parent or you're just two parents working your ass off and you can't afford to stay home with your kid, but your kid has to go to school. 
and but they can't go to school without being vaccinated, what are you going to do? I hear crickets out there. What are you going to do? It's that compelling. It's, it's, it's these are, again, these are questions you have to think about. You have to, you have to really read between the lines. You got to do your research. But man, it's, it's, it's so difficult because the trust is not there. The trust isn't there. Hasn't been there for a very long time. And I think this year has just made the, the trust come out the closet saying, yo, this is the level of trust we have, which is close to, to nil. We should never trust your government regardless, but how much are you willing to put on the line? Are you ready to protest a no, no no vaccine at work? And these are things I'm not I'm not suggesting these things. I'm just saying, like, what what is what is your where's your line in the sand at? At the end of the day, some people are going to be forced to take the vaccine. I got to work. I got to make money. I got to. I got to pay the bills. Then I'm going to have to take this vaccine. Is the vaccine going to be safe? You know what? You would hope that your government has your back and your best interests at heart, and the people at Pfizer and I forgot the other company's name that have come with the, the viruses are about 90 something percent effective. Won't do no shady shit. But as, as history knows, man, there's always been some shady shit. The Tuskegee experiment with black people in Alabama to in Puerto Rico not too long ago. What's this, maybe early 70s where women were being tricked to being sterilized? You know what I'm saying? Our government, no joke. Even, even when further back in, in Puerto Rico where there was a doctor who was actually injecting cancer into our people. And the government knew about it. He left Puerto Rico, went, came to the States, and he continued working like nothing ever happened. And then nothing happened to him. So people have to understand this, this history on how minorities have been guinea pigs for things for a very long time. And then you have this pandemic around the world. And now there's a vaccine within 10 months. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying it's only 90%. It hasn't been tested for years. Right now, we'll be going to, the people who are taking it today, tomorrow, next week, next month, you guys are the, the new trial. You are the, the guinea pig. It's something you really have to decide. Again, if you trust your government, you're gonna take you take the vaccines. Yeah, hey, I trust my government. Ooh, ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, you're not gonna take it. The, the, the more you think about it. The more and more questions have to arise. And talk to your partner, you know, talk to whoever, talk to family members, friends, whatever. And really discuss and, and lay out what this is. How are you gonna maneuver? You're gonna have to have some hypotheticals. And I hate so fuck with hypotheticals. I really do. Like when people ask me, oh, but what if it was? I, I don't do hypotheticals. I'm a realist. So I'm dealing with now. 
And right now, the vaccine is real. Kids take vaccines. I know I've taken vaccines as a kid. I you know I didn't have no choice to. My mother just got me shot up and stuff, you know, to to avoid having polio and 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 the measles and smallpox or whatever. Like, you know, those things have been eradicated. Um, they're making a comeback in America because some people don't get their the kids vaccinated because they think it's associated with autism. And now if this vaccine, no, not if, this vaccine is out now, how does that play out in your child's health care? How does that play out in your health care? And if you don't take it, how would your health care provider? That's a good question, right? How would your health care provider treat you? Will they up your premiums because you don't take the, the virus? These are questions you have to ask. We don't know what the healthcare provider is going to do yet. They've been, they've been pretty quiet. But what happens if you had COVID and they consider that to be a, pre, a pre-existing condition? And then you just said, I take the virus, the vaccine. What happens then? These are questions we have to ask people and we're not asking the right questions. We're talking a lot of shit on social media. We're just throwing around, you know, random headlines and not really having deep conversations and not to be argumentative, not not to, to out someone, not to call someone stupid or just start fighting. But have true understanding that in the debate, and cross-examining something, you have to see that middle ground. You have to see that person's point of view. You have to see, ah, that makes sense, but I ain't taking that shit. I get where you're coming from. And wow, it's going to make me think a little differently, but it makes still hold my stance. But you have to ask these questions. Have you thought about what your healthcare provider is going to say about the vaccine? Again, we're controlled by enterprise. It's not really about the federal government. You saw how difficult it was just to to get water to Katrina back in 05. It took five days to get water to to the to the people of Louisiana when Katrina hit them. Five days. And they said, you know the reason why? Because the governor didn't ask the federal government, yo, we need help. The governor just thought that the federal government automatically was going to come and do something. They they actually had to wait for a physical phone call, a a, a, a proper engagement saying, yo, I need help. Come through. Why do you think in the beginning of COVID, they were like, yo, every state fend for yourself. Get your own PPEs, get your own ventilators, go on the market, do you? Because we can't do it for you. Because people, every state, a state is a fancy word for country. So you live in the country of New York. I live in the country of Georgia. You live in the country of LA. Oh. Well, California. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get some knowledge here. Every state's gonna be different. Every state's ran differently. And you live in a democratic part of the country or a Republican part of the country. They're going to be ran totally different. There may be more mandates. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. But we have to continue asking questions. And you have to continue forcing yourself to make a stance and ask really good questions. Really think about what if this? What if that? Start getting yourself prepared. Because these are simple questions now, but once you, let's say your healthcare provider sends you something saying, hey, going forward to keep your plan, you have to be vaccinated and you're against the vaccine. Or well, your job says to, to continue to work here for the interests of other people who have underlying conditions, you must get vaccinated. 
by this time. What do you do then? I'm going to find another job. I don't care. Oh, okay. Good. Find another job. And that job's going to have a mandate as well. Then the next job's going to have another mandate. So what happens then? Oh, but Johnny, they can't make me. They're not making you, but they're sure as hell going to put you in the line to get it anyway because you can't get a job without it. So you can be right there in the queue getting the fucking vaccine regardless. See how that works? How they're going to force your hand without really forcing your hand? And that's some shit. That's some sick shit. That's how things operate. Things work. I don't know. Um, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to bring those points up to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that... <sighs> You really have to discuss with your family in depth. You may have loved ones who should take it. Like William Shakespeare, that was 81 in the UK. You may have some families that are going to say, hell no. They ain't taking it. You got to think about your children. What happens if it's going to be part of the immunization record? They can't go to school without the immunizations. Again, each state is different. You're going to have to look into this at your state level. People, please, I beg of you, do your fucking homework, man. Stop passing on these stupid headlines you see on Facebook. Stop, stop sharing dumb shit and share some real shit like this podcast. <laughs> On the real Share it Someone that needs to understand and know Real information But you have to Really start looking at The future This hasn't happened In a hundred years Another hundred years can go by Before it happens again Maybe sooner We have seven billion people It's going to jump to nine billion real soon on this planet The more people The more stress in the planet The more stress Of our atmosphere or You name it It's going to be stressing the whole system And more things like this Can be either made by man Or come up naturally What are you going to do? Will you take the vaccine? Alright peoples Thank you for another one huh? Johnny out.